Baseball, episode 51, Spencer Dodgers, living our fantasy as men. Fantasy baseball and fantasy sports are fantastic, but why or why do we put all the time, spend all the effort, and make our wives argue so much about this? Our girlfriends, we know how much time we put into fantasy sports, but the top of our list is men. Why do we do it? I'm going to tell you. It's National Women's Day as well, so let's give a shout out to all of our special ladies as we tell them that fancy sports are still our priority, right? <laughs> Just joking. We love you, women. Uh, trivia from last time. Who was the starting pitcher for the 1957 Milwaukee Brewers with three wins in that World Series defeat on the Yankees? One, two, three. Mr. Lou Boudreau. Okay? He's the only pitcher since 1905 to throw... Two complete shutouts in the World Series. That was Christy Mathewson. So this guy went down into Milwaukee. He took the young Hank Aaron, and he took over Milwaukee, won the World Series. Lou Boudreau in 57. You were the man, okay? News and notes. What's going on? we got the World Baseball Classic still rocking and roll. Israel secured a first-round pool. Move on to the next round. That shocked everyone. That's the story right now. USA is playing Minnesota. Twins for kind of a scrimmage out in Florida. I'm watching that on baseball right now. And a couple player things going on. I got Brett Lowry. News about him. I kind of was talking to him about straightening up, which I love to hear. Lowry has interest from other teams. And he's going to get healthy first and then come back. So, Brett Lowry, good luck on your mission back. And also, Doug Fister is still unsigned. I've been a fan of Fister for a few years. Crafty veteran of the Mariners. Bouncing around. Was on the Astros last year. Still only 32 years old. Dougie, I want to see you back. You got more money to make. And I think he can make a difference. A four or five. We're talking about Giovanni Gallardo yesterday. Fister can slot down in there and be a valuable four or five for a major league baseball team, okay? Why oh why should be more like my oh my. And that's my Dave Niehaus shout out for my Mariners fans. Fantasy baseball. One, we deserve it. As men, we deserve some time to ourselves each day. You know, we work hard, we wake up with the kids, we do the wifey, we do the girlfriend, we do the whole conform to society thing. You know, but we love checking our phones to the fantasy baseball. You know, we love that little moment we get. So stick with your swimming and your biking. Keep your big hobbies, you know, or your fishing and your, your sports cars, whatever you do. Keep being a man, but don't think that you don't deserve this fantasy baseball thing. I've got a lot of friends that have given up on fantasy sports over the years because they don't have the time for it. You know, make the time for it. There's a lot of different leagues out there. Find the league that's right for you. Call me, tweet me, ask me, do what you got to do. I can help you find the right league, okay? and uh, get that part back into you. The competition, high school buddies, coworkers, the guy you met on the side of the street, dudes from pickup games at basketball, wherever you meet people, women of course, it's National Women's Day, I'm gonna keep talking about that. Uh, girl, I have, you have, I have uh, the guys, the fancy guys back in the day, she showed me as a woman in your league to kind of keep it well-rounded, so keep that in mind. But it's a competition, you know? Just beating somebody on your phone is gratifying. You know, you wanna do that. Sometimes we take our competition out, whether it be Little League, which we've been talking a lot about, or we do our workspace, or these different things, like use fancy sports as a way to release that. You know, get rid of your road rage, get rid of some of your other social anxieties and frustrations. Use fancy sports for that, okay? The last and foremost is gambling. Okay, you can all put a little pool pot in for fancy sports if you want to or play for free. But we know that gambling is a big part of everyone's life. It was a big part of my life for a long time. Okay, I don't gamble on sports anymore. I got fancy sports to do that. I got midnight baseball. I got all my other passions to do that. So, But it's a huge problem for a lot of people. And it's a huge also success for a lot of people is the gambling side. So be aware of the gambling. We have it went from Vegas to Jersey, okay, to offshore betting, to poker online, to uh, sports online. Now we have daily fancy sports. So just be aware. I'm not passing judgment here in fancy baseball. We don't do that. You be you, but know who you are. Know your budget. Know your limits. And if you need help, ask for help in gambling. I can tell you that for sure. Okay. Shout out this time is going to Mr. Andy Singleton, formerly with Nickel Press TV Fantasy Sports. I just found him on the internet in the last week or two. He's been at his dream for about five years. Apparently got some big promotion today. Andy, congratulations on fan tracks. Sir, I've been watching you for a couple days, my man. But it's awesome to see how you've been dedicating yourself to YouTube and your passion. I can tell you that Midnight Baseball is on that same road. And before, I kind of thought, well, is this guy my competition or what is he? But you know what? It's great. It's all about sharing. I love that about this. Midnight Baseball and this fancy community, and that's fancy, this baseball community we're building, it's all about sharing. So I got to support you. Please support me. You know about my show. Check me out, and uh, we'll just do more and more. Going to next week's topics, 
Numbers that should be retired in Major League Baseball, players that have been disrespected over the years. We're talking more about them. Who's my trivia? Number 34 for the Los Angeles Dodgers. It should be retired. It still gets worn. Who's the greatest player to ever wear number 34 for the Los Angeles Dodgers? If you're a Dodger, it shouldn't be that difficult, okay? Shout out, gratitude, midnight players, fantasy gods, baseball gods, racklife.org. See you at Elysian Park next week. I got a couple of days off. Maybe I'll do some special shows. I want to see you guys more. My time's up today. Let's dance. Come on and dance. Cue that music, boys. Woo!